Another video of Impala Labs video tutorials. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, IP addresses and the way that you have to configure them for a work group. The reason that I sent this video and uploaded this video is that I had a couple of messages uh, asking about uh, the way that you have to configure IP addresses. We didn't talk about um, too much. We didn't talk about too much about IP addresses in the work group videos. So I thought sending another video would be useful for people. So here as you see we've got a brief description on IP addresses. We have 10 clients as you see here, clients, client 1, 2, 3, 4 to 10. We have our network ID which is the network identity and represents the, our network, the name of our network, followed by a dot and followed by the client ID. The client ID is the, cli the identity of each of the clients, each of the peers, each of the workstations and each of the computers on your network and the subnet mask that we will talk about later. Well, the network ID, as you see here, the network ID for all of the IP addresses is completely unique and the same, similar to each other. The reason is that this identity represents um, the network, so that when computers want to connect to each other, they would simply just um, look for other clients on their own network, on their own subnet. So, um, this should be completely unique. There's no reason that you have to use 194.225.33 in a work group. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated when it comes to bigger networks, but right now there is no reason that you have to use this number. You could even use the IP address 2020.20 20 .20, uh, and finally dots uh, with um, client IDs 1 to 10. Okay, so um, the network ID should be completely um, unique and the same for every single um, client that you're going to configure the IP address so it doesn't matter even if it's 194.225.33 or it's 20.20.20 .20 or anything similar okay so uh, the maximum uh, I have to tell you that the maximum um, number that you could use here is 254 for each of these but uh, um, since um, you're not completely familiar with these numbers uh, if you are, you could um, completely change them, but if you're not, um, simply use this IP address, 194.225.33. It will work out for you. There's no problems. And here, so um, the network ID is completely unique. You have to use the same for every single workstation, but when it comes to the client ID, it, would, it should be completely the same. Uh, and you sh no um, two computers on the network should share the same client ID. Okay, for instance here, client1 has an IP address of 194.225.33.1. This part, let me clear this, okay, this part, this is our IP address. The IP address includes the network ID and the client ID. The network ID shows that which, to which network the computer belongs to. The client ID shows that, okay, to, it belongs to this network, but which one is it? It would say that it, the, it's the client ID number one, and we would easily find out that who is client number um, one. Okay, so this is the IP address, and finally we have a subnet mask. Uh, we're not going to actually talk about the subnet mask since it's not useful in um, uh, in work groups since uh, we're not going to be using more than 10 computers in a work group they are all going to be on the same subnet but to um, make you familiar with the word subnet mask um, you would be able to break down networks into smaller parts and to manage them but uh, as I said it's not useful in uh, work groups so um, the only thing you have to do is just to enter the number 255.255.255.0 or by just simply clicking on the subnet mask uh, bar you, it would just uh, automatically um, um, put the IP, uh, put the subnet mask for you there okay so just um, one last check Net network ID should be completely um, unique and the same on every single computer and w but when it comes to the client ID no two computers on the network should share the same um, client ID meaning that you shouldn't have like two clients client 1 and 2 shouldn't be sharing the same IP address the, uh, the IP addresses should be completely unique and if uh, you have duplicate IP addresses on your network 
there would be a lot of problems. Um, one of the most biggest problems is um, would that be um, either of them won't be actually accessible by other network users on other computers. Okay, so that's it. Um, just this is the network, and this is the IP addresses of client one. This is the IP address, for instance, for client three. 194.225.33.3 and if you're not using 194.225.33 for the network ID and you're for for example using 20.20.20 .20, you would have IP addresses of 20.20.1.2.3 and so on okay so I think uh, there's not going to be any problems anymore as far as we're concerned so if you had two computers you could use these two IP addresses 1942253.3.1 1942253.3.2 and if you had 3 4 or so on you could simply just use these IP addresses okay well this video is finished i hope you enjoyed it uh, if you have any other questions just send me a message and thank you